Imagine feeding 70 million people every year with a crop grown in the desert, land that was once considered completely unfit for farming. Sounds impossible, right? Yet in China, scientists have done just that. Rice, a crop that usually needs fertile soil and abundant water, is now thriving in barren, salty desert landscapes. This isn't just farming. It's a scientific miracle turning sand into life-giving fields. What was once a sea of sand is slowly becoming a patchwork of green, proving that even the harshest environments can be tamed with innovation and determination. In today's video, we're going to explore how China accomplished this incredible feat, why it matters for global food security, and how this innovation is already inspiring other desert nations to rethink what's possible. So, buckle up. The story of desert rice is a journey from impossibility to reality, and it's reshaping the future of agriculture. Rice isn't just another crop in China, it's the lifeblood of the nation. China is the world's largest producer and consumer of rice, and hybrid rice alone feeds millions every single day. To put it into perspective, China consumes a staggering 700,000 tons of food daily. That's enough to fill thousands of Olympic-sized stadiums with grain. Food security isn't just about filling stomachs, it's about national stability. If a country depends too heavily on imported food, its future can be influenced by politics, global market swings, or even conflicts halfway around the world. For China, ensuring a steady supply of rice is crucial to safeguarding the nation's sovereignty and stability. Yet here's the challenge. China's total cultivated land is only about 1.9 billion acres, while maintaining self-sufficiency requires between 2.3 and 2.4 billion acres. In simple terms, China needs more land or smarter ways to use the land it already has. And that's where the story of desert rice begins. Transforming previously useless desert into productive farmland could literally feed tens of millions more people each year. So what if the deserts, vast, barren, and harsh, could be turned into rice fields? The answer isn't just about solving hunger in China. It could redefine how the world thinks about farming in extreme environments. But here's the problem. Not all land is created equal. In China, over 665,000 square kilometers of desert are highly saline and alkaline. That's land where nothing could traditionally grow. For comparison, that's roughly the size of France and Germany combined. Rice, as we know, loves water and fertile soil. But in these deserts, water is scarce. Soil nutrients are almost non-existent, and the salt content is so high, it would kill ordinary crops. The pH levels are extreme, and the ground is so alkaline that seeds struggle to even sprout. Traditional farming methods simply can't work here. Attempting to plant rice in this kind of environment would be like trying to grow a tropical plant on the surface of the moon. This sets the stage for a major breakthrough. China faced a seemingly impossible challenge. How to take vast, lifeless deserts and make them productive. The solution? Science, perseverance, and a vision that would change the future of agriculture. For over 40 years, Chinese scientists refused to accept that deserts were useless for farming. They embarked on an ambitious mission to create a rice variety that could survive in conditions that would kill ordinary crops. The idea was simple but daunting. Develop rice that could tolerate high levels of salt, poor nutrients, and extreme temperatures. The process was far from easy. Scientists conducted over 1,162 field experiments and 875 paired trials testing thousands of rice strains under a variety of harsh conditions. Some seeds withered within days. Others grew slowly, but produced tiny, almost useless yields. Each failure was studied carefully, providing critical insights into what traits rice would need to survive. It was a decades-long puzzle, where persistence was just as important as knowledge. Finally, after decades of experimentation, a breakthrough came. Researchers developed a salt-tolerant rice variety capable of thriving in alkaline, saline soil with limited water. This rice could grow in deserts that had been considered completely barren, transforming them from wastelands into green, productive fields. This innovation didn't just represent a scientific achievement, it was a testament to human ingenuity. By pushing the boundaries of genetics, soil science, and agricultural techniques, China showed the world that even the harshest environments could be harnessed to feed millions. This was the moment desert rice went from a theoretical possibility to a real, life-changing solution. The true test came on the western edge of the Taklamakan Desert, one of the harshest deserts in the world. The soil here was extreme, 
salinity measured as high as 17 per milla and pH levels over 8.0, conditions that would destroy most crops. It was the perfect proving ground for China's desert rice. After planting the specially developed salt-tolerant rice, scientists watched and waited. Months passed, and the results were astonishing. Within a single year, barren sand began to turn green. By March 2018, the first harvest arrived, and it was a bumper crop. Yields reached 549 kilograms per mu, far exceeding initial expectations. Land once thought lifeless was now producing more than anyone imagined. This was more than a successful experiment. It was a turning point. It proved that scientific innovation could overcome nature's toughest challenges, transforming deserts into farmland capable of feeding tens of millions. This success didn't just change agriculture in China. It sent a message to the world. Even the most inhospitable land could be harnessed for food production. And it was only the beginning. China's success with desert rice didn't stay a national story for long. It caught the attention of other countries facing similar challenges. One of the most eager observers was Dubai, a city-state built almost entirely on desert. Over 90% of its land is sand, daytime temperatures can soar above 50 degrees Celsius, and annual rainfall is less than 100 millimeters. In short, it's one of the harshest environments on Earth for agriculture. For Dubai, growing rice seemed impossible. Rice is a crop that thrives on water, nutrient-rich soil, and a stable climate, none of which the desert could provide. But the potential benefits were enormous. Currently, Dubai imports up to 90% of its grain, making it highly dependent on global markets. Any disruption could threaten food security for its growing population. China's desert rice offered a glimmer of hope. If this technology could work in Dubai, it could reduce reliance on imports, create jobs, and even transform the desert itself. The question was, could a crop that conquered China's deserts survive the extreme heat, aridity, and high alkali soils of Dubai? This is where the story shifts from a national triumph to an international experiment, and the stakes just got a lot higher. In 2018, China and Dubai signed a groundbreaking cooperation agreement to test desert rice under the extreme conditions of the UAE. The goal was ambitious, not just to grow rice, but to see if it could thrive sustainably in one of the hottest, driest deserts on the planet. Experimental farms were set up on Dubai's western desert edge, supported by funding, infrastructure, and technical expertise. The project was also part of China's One Belt, One Road initiative, emphasizing international collaboration in science and agriculture. The teams faced immense challenges from day one. Sandstorms swept across the plots, temperatures fluctuated dramatically, and the alkaline desert soil threatened to stunt growth. Yet the scientists were undeterred. They meticulously monitored soil conditions, adjusted irrigation techniques, and experimented with different rice varieties. This collaboration wasn't just a scientific experiment. It was a high-stakes mission to prove that desert rice could cross continents and adapt to even harsher environments. The success or failure here would determine whether the dream of desert agriculture could become a global reality. Growing rice in Dubai was far from easy. The extreme climate created massive hurdles. Seeds struggled to germinate in the hot, dry soil. Growth was slow, and many young plants withered under the harsh sun. The desert's high alkali content further threatened survival, making ordinary rice farming impossible. But Chinese scientists refused to give up. They knew that success required adaptation. Over 3,000 experiments and hundreds of selective breedings were conducted to identify a variety of desert rice that could withstand Dubai's extreme conditions. Each experiment provided vital insights. Some failed outright while others offered clues on how to tweak planting techniques, irrigation, and soil treatment. The process demanded patience, precision, and ingenuity. Scientists had to account for scorching temperatures, minimal rainfall, and frequent sandstorms, conditions far beyond what even China's deserts had presented. Through relentless trial and error, they finally identified a rice variety capable of thriving in Dubai's deserts, a crop that could endure drought, tolerate high salt levels, and grow in the blistering heat. This breakthrough proved that with determination and innovation, even the toughest natural challenges could be overcome. After years of research, experimentation, and perseverance, desert rice finally took root in Dubai. Once barren land was transformed into vibrant green fields, proving that even the harshest deserts could sustain life, yields reached up to 500 kilograms per mu, 
an incredible achievement considering the extreme heat, minimal rainfall, and high alkali soils. But the success wasn't just about food production. The deep roots of desert rice helped stabilize the sand dunes, preventing desert expansion and reducing the frequency and severity of sandstorms. Over time, the crops improved soil quality, increased organic matter, and fostered microorganisms that made the desert more fertile. This wasn't merely a scientific victory, it was a transformative achievement with ecological and social implications. A desert once lifeless and inhospitable was now teeming with life, and Dubai had taken a monumental step toward food security, environmental restoration, and sustainable agriculture. Buoyed by early successes, Dubai began planning to scale desert rice cultivation. The goal? Well, it's to cover approximately 10% of the UAE's desert land. That's about 8,300 square kilometers with rice fields. If fully implemented, this could dramatically reduce the nation's reliance on imported food and strengthen its food security. The potential impact is, honestly, enormous. Annual rice production could reach somewhere between 7.5 and 20 million kilograms, providing enough grain to feed millions locally and even create a surplus for export. Economically, this could generate up to 1 billion U.S. dollars in foreign exchange earnings, creating new revenue streams for the country. Scaling up desert rice isn't just about increasing numbers. It represents a shift in how countries view their deserts, transforming them from obstacles into assets, and showing that science can unlock resources that were previously deemed impossible to use. Desert rice doesn't just feed people, um, it fuels economies. Expanding rice cultivation in Dubai creates new jobs, from field workers to processing and distribution roles. It also opens opportunities for local entrepreneurship and boosts income for communities that were previously dependent on imports or non-agricultural sectors. On a larger scale, desert-grown rice can carve out a competitive advantage in the international market. Unique because it grows in harsh desert conditions, this rice could attract premium prices and new trade opportunities. The ripple effect is powerful. Scientific innovation drives social and economic development, creating a cycle where agriculture, technology, and commerce feed into one another. For Dubai, desert rice isn't just a crop, it's a catalyst for a stronger, more resilient economy and community. Desert rice offers more than economic benefits. It has profound environmental and health impacts. The deep roots of rice plants help anchor sand dunes, reducing the spread of desertification and minimizing the frequency of sandstorms that disrupt daily life. Health improvements follow naturally. Fewer sandstorms mean cleaner air, which lowers the incidence of respiratory diseases that are common in desert regions. Over time, as desert rice cultivation expands, the soil itself improves, organic matter increases, microorganisms flourish, and once barren sandy soil gradually becomes fertile. This transformation demonstrates that desert rice isn't just a solution for food security. It's a tool for ecological restoration, turning deserts into productive ecosystems, improving public health, and fostering biodiversity. In essence, desert rice reshapes entire environments, one green field at a time. The story of desert rice is a powerful reminder of what human innovation can achieve. What began as a seemingly impossible dream, growing rice in barren, salty deserts, has now become a reality, first in China and then on the deserts of Dubai. This breakthrough isn't just about producing more food, it's about reshaping how nations view and use their natural resources. Desert rice has become a bridge between nations, linking China and the Arab world through science, technology, and shared goals of food security. It demonstrates that international collaboration can solve some of the world's most pressing problems, from hunger to environmental degradation. Looking forward, the potential is enormous. Expanding desert rice could help other arid regions achieve self-sufficiency, boost local economies, create jobs, and restore ecosystems. Imagine deserts gradually turning green, sandstorms reduced, and communities thriving where life once seemed impossible. This is more than agriculture. It's a blueprint for the future. A story of innovation, determination, and hope. And it's just the beginning. If you want to stay updated on projects that are changing the world, from cutting-edge science to transformative agriculture, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Join us as we continue to explore how human ingenuity can turn impossible dreams into reality, one greenfield at a time.